St. Vincent and the Grenadines is an archipelago state in the Eastern Caribbean consisting of 32 islands and keys with a population estimated at 109,000. It is a small open economy vulnerable to external shocks. Consumer and producer goods are mostly imported and a narrow range of goods and services is produced. Although the country's economic performance has been relatively good, growth was negatively affected by the global financial and food crises, natural hazards and high oil prices. To access the largely untapped human resource in an attempt to boost economic growth, a significant part of the budget has been allocated to education and training. Education has been the focal sector of the National Indicative Programme under the 9th European Development Fund. It specifically aims to provide support to the development of the secondary level education sector through an envelope allocation of 5 million euros. First launched in 1959, the European Development Fund provides community development aid in the African, Caribbean and Pacific ACP countries and the overseas countries and territories. It supports actions in economic development, social and human development and regional cooperation and integration. Over the past uh, 25 years, uh, social development um, has been very much uh, part of our core business uh, in St. Vincent and in the Grenadines. By social development, I refer to education and health. Our early um, programming within education included um, the usual mix of uh, scholarships, of infrastructure and and skills development. But in the last uh, decade, from, from 2002 and, and onwards, we shifted our approach um, from focusing on individual activities to, um, to a more holistic, a more sector-based approach. So our support to the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Community College did not, did, didn't begin uh, just a few years ago. Uh, in fact, we started this process uh, a long time ago. Uh, with the construction of the uh, of the learning resource center, uh, which was worth a million euros, um, and which was open in two thousand and four, uh, and we will now complete the process when hopefully I will um, open the community college uh, in connection with the celebration of the country's uh, independence in in October. Uh, the construction uh, that we have been involved in in the last uh, phase here include uh, administrative facilities, more classrooms, a lecture theatre, student services and, and commercial and recreational facilities. And we certainly want to make all the efforts that can be made in order to match um, education with employability, to match education and the needs of industry, which is of course the future of a strong economy and of growth for this region and for St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Quite often when we think of a, of a construction project, we just think about the physical facilities and we don't think about the bodies that have to go in there. The model that we went with is that any, any space there can be a learning space. So the focus was on having a multi-purpose, multi-functional rooms that could be converted into other things as necessary, having nice open spaces that were also conducive to education and then therefore expanding um, the learning opportunities for the students. Because at the end of the day we're in the business of poverty alleviation, we can't alleviate poverty if we continue to do things and have the same opportunities as we did back in the 70s and the 80s. The world has changed, even Car Car Caribbean countries have to be more globally competitive. You cannot be globally competitive unless you have the necessary skills for the, for the new um, global workforce. And we believe that this provides that type of opportunity for the students, for St. Vincent as a whole. All this goes hand in hand with the strategic development plan of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. In 2013, last year, the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines launched a national economic and social development plan. This plan takes us up to 2025. There are five overarching goals in this plan and it outlines a vision really for the development of St. Vincent up until that time. One of the, well, of course, all the various sectors, education, the, so the social sectors, education, health, 
visa included in the plan and also to the productive sectors. In our cooperation with the European Union, we try to get them involved as much as possible in supporting us in the social sectors. We have had extensive collaboration in the, in, in the area of health and uh, we also have um, extensive co collaboration in education. We decided to choose information technology. The project is actually called um, Expansion in Education through ICT because that is where education is going and St. Vincent and the Grenadines cannot be left behind. Education is very much intertwined with technology and we wanted to be sure that we offered our students, the students of this country, an opportunity to have the same quality education as the, their counterparts around the world. In the National Development Program, we want to be sure that we have a level of human capital which equips St. Vincent and the Grenadines to compete with the rest of the world. We want students to be educated so that they can in turn make a difference in building our country, in building St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So what we are hoping is that once these students receive the, the requ requisite education at the community college, this whets their appetite for even further studies. And then they are empowered to come back to St. Vincent to develop this nation. We have made some very good strides over the last number of years, but there are many more things that we need to do. We need to have good engineers to help with the infrastructure development, architects. We need to have economists, mathematicians, language experts, all sorts of, of skills and competencies so that St. Vincent can then boast of having all of these skills and these persons combine their qualifications, their competencies into building a St. Vincent and the Grenadines, which will be the envy of the world. Rising to meet the challenges and opportunities in an increasingly globalized environment, policy focuses on economic diversification, increase in exports and development of human capital through raising the educational attainment of the population. This in turn will encourage higher levels of economic growth, resulting in the reduction of poverty and unemployment. The upgrades at the SVGCC include renovations to existing structures and facilities, as well as the construction of new structures and facilities, better accommodating the college to the learning experience necessary for regional and global competitiveness. The St. Vincent and the Grenadines College actually came into effect by an Act of Parliament, that Act is number 28 of 2005. Prior to this time, the, there were four colleges in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, so to speak. You had the Technical College, you had the Teachers College, you had the A-Level College, and you had the Division of Nursing. The Division of Nursing was under the Ministry of Health, but the other three colleges were under the Ministry of Education, and they functioned as branches of the Ministry of Education. By the Act of 2005, they were amalgamated into the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Community College. It was necessary to bring everything together, really for economies of scale, and really when you looked at what was happening in education throughout the region and internationally, as a matter of fact, where colleges were the way to go in, um, in the region as well. It will be a little difficult to give you the exact figures at this time of year, because we are currently still finalizing our enrollment. But I think it's fair to say that uh, we have a total of around 2,500 students at the college at this time. The enrollment has been increasing significantly after universal secondary education in 2005. The numbers enrolled in the college started increasing almost exponentially um, after 2010. And so um, we can safely say that we are taking care of the vast number of persons who enroll into the college. The 
infrastructural developments have made a tremendous difference. I remember the first year in which the college had the increase in numbers of students. The government actually had to build in short time temporary classrooms to host students just so that people would have the opportunity to access education at this level. As a leading post-secondary and tertiary institution in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the community college has a pivotal role to play in the development of technology and integrating it into education. But in addition, the college has a responsibility to train teachers. And so we have actually introduced two courses in our teacher training program. Um, they were developed by our e-college coordinator, Mr. Ulrich Sutherland. And these courses help the teachers who are being trained at the college to integrate the technology into the classroom and into their teaching. One of the other things I should mention is the technological advances at the Villa campus in particular have allowed us to extend via 5 megabit cable as part of the SMART project to the technical, to technical division. So this campus, the Villa campus, is linked via 5 megabit cable to the technical campus and that's going to be assisting with our networking you know, between campuses. And also as part of that SMART project, we have a subscription to Blackboard Collaborate. Now what does all of this mean? It means that the college currently has the ability to deliver its courses in real time online. Or students can also access, if the particular lecture is using Blackboard, can also access a recording of that lecture, you know, sometime after the fact. So that's a tremendous improvement. And as I said, we want to see ourselves as being on the cutting edge and being able to, to, to offer some guidance as well. The expansion of the St. Vincent and the Grenadines community is a component under the improvement of education through the use of information and communication technology, ICT project. This expansion aims at improving infrastructure at the college to include ICT enhanced facilities. The construction was awarded to three contractors as follows. Inotech, New Construction, Teachers and Classroom Block, Hutchinson Construction Company Limited, Renovations and Demolitions Works, Construction of External Stage, Construction of Bleachers and Games Courts, and Construction of the Student Union Building, Gibson Construction Limited, External Works and Landscaping. I think the architect and the concept would go a long way in making the Education Institute, as the SVCCC is, um, a better institute in the long run. Overall, the, the, the um, footprint of the college is not a very big one when you compare it to other colleges in the region, but what is in that small footprint can match any other facilities that we have at that stage. When we arrived in St. Vincent, the community college was operating from effectively three buildings. There was a classroom block, um, an administration block and a library and there was one or two temporary outline buildings. Um, right now, after the construction's finished, there's, I think in the region of six or seven now, buildings now, they've got the, the classroom blocks that they had before. They've got a brand new classroom facility with laboratories, um, IT labs, um, classrooms. They've got a new teacher's building to give the teacher's facilities. Um, they've got a brand new student's union. They've got a new main entrance building. Um, it's you probably wouldn't recognise it from what it was to what it is today, it's just completely changed. Um, new circulation and car parking, it's, it's now a, a state-of-the-art facility. Any outstanding parts? Probably the, the job itself, just the, the, the coordination, the cooperation that we had in St Vincent's been fantastic uh, and it made it work and the, the input from the teachers and the community college itself, because it was open while we were working, so we had to keep everybody happy. Um, and. Uh, we, to, to a large extent, we, we managed to do that. The goal of the 9th EDF is to encourage economic, human and social development through promoting access to secondary education. The expansion of SVGCC has made its facilities more accessible to the population of SVG. 
In this way, it addresses socio-economic challenges faced by the country such as unemployment and poverty and the improvement of the public and private sectors.